Alrighty then, what is up everyone? Some may know me as Luna, and some may know me as the guy who controls this wonderful weapon. This wonderful combo, because I'm a Meister. Yes, I'm getting into Soul Eater. I know, right. A long time. I did watch beforehand, and then I kind of get it. But my wonderful weapon, my dual katana sword guy, Mr. Monsters! Campus or Momo? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck was that? It what? was an announcement like wrestling. Aww. Introducing that wrestling doesn't do that. It's more like UFC boxing. Oh yeah, I don't know. It was more like Leroy Jenkins. Leroy Jenkins. Well, that's hopefully the outcome of what Leroy Jenkins is. Isn't what this podcast is gonna end up like? Ugh. Alright, so just to get the little introduction along, if you don't know what this is, this is like, you know, an audio discussion where you listen to us talk. Weird, right? Weird concept. I think we're the first to do it. I don't know. Maybe? I don't know. We're all of us. Oh, why not? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a general discussion where we talk over a wide variety of things on my channel, people. Anything. Anything. You guys can give us topics of what to talk about, and if you find them interesting, we'll go talk about them. We've haven't done anything like that before, which means you guys give us topics and questions in, you know, the comment section of this video or in any of the Under the Moon podcast uh, question videos that I do to be able to spread out the love so people know what the fuck this is and what we do because we like viewer questions. We want you to ask questions about various topics, whether it's upon the podcast within itself, which I call it an audio discussion. I don't like calling it a podcast because that bullshit. But it, yeah, it's... <sighs> Did you take a breather? Damn, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we we want your questions, people. We want you to, to ask us questions. Please let them be legit questions. If they're stupid, they'll never be answered. You'll know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so I think we're going to be getting on for today. We have a couple just random stuff. I remember, what is it, last episode, like a week? Two weeks ago? Two weeks. Oh, yeah, we missed a week because somebody was all tired. Yeah, how about you uh, tell the truth some more? <laughs> what? I do what? What's the truth? Silence is the truth? That's deep, bro. I win, bitch. I win the silent game. YOLO. All right. <laughs> what the fuck was that? All right, so the stuff that we have lined up today, we're going to do a viewer question right away. Start off the bat, um, we're probably going to talk about an anime that I got Momo to watch and in, in turn made him read the the whole manga, but I read it first, so that means I'm better than them. Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. Then we're going to be talking about a movie uh, a DC animated movie. I know most of you probably grown and like, oh, DC fucking sucks. Yeah. Uh, 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 let's just try to keep our biases here. But we're going to be talking about the Justice League, the Flashpoint Paradox. And we're going to be talking a little bit about that. Try not to spoil too much, but um, we have a couple things we want to talk about about it. Actually, we have no idea what we're going to talk about it. We're just going to talk uh -huh. about it. So... <laughs> <laughs> and then I think that should round off the whole podcast audio discussion. So, all right, let's get into it. So, bro, viewer questions. How do you feel about those? I don't know. I like them. They're interesting, and I like that they actually consider us as an uh, a good source for an opinion or something like that. Which is like, oh man, I'm I'm at least in somebody else's eyes, kind of wise. You which know, is awesome. You know what, bro? I did a live stream on Saturday, which was the worst live stream in my life, and I fucking hated it. I feel what? ashamed what of it. Huh? Two what? fucking what people ruined the live stream. Uh, they talked for hours and hours. No one could get a word in. Everyone was talking over and over one another for multiple times, talking about raping little kids and rape in general. So, um, that was fun, right? That sounds <laughs> terrible. Yeah, it is terrible. Uh, but... <clears throat> and during uh, in that live stream, you were brought up for some reason because I think it was the podcast I was talking about why we didn't record. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, people were like, "I like Momo's voice," and I got jealous. Well, I don't have a good voice. You even announced this that I don't <laughs> have a good voice, and I, I even went to some audio back to see, like that one time where we saw that it stopped recording, and I started listening to see where we left off. 
I have a terrible voice. <laughs> I don't have a radio voice whatsoever. It's weird because, you know, I never usually... I, I hate I hate when that happens. When someone says someone else is better than me on my channel. It's just like a slap in the face, man. I didn't say I was better than you. They just said... They no, they voice. said they liked your voice. They didn't say anything about me. I'm like, oh... And I never gotten those ever before. So... But they didn't exactly point out that your voice was bad. They just not... They just noticed my voice, which it's questionable, but regardless, they didn't say anything bad about you. Well, it's just jealousy. Okay. It's just jealousy. But one person said they like my voice more, so that's okay. See? Yeah. See? All it takes is one person. Now I will fall in love with this person, and I will find you. I will go See? into your house. my voice was just good. Yours is better than mine, so it's all frosty, bro. All right, dude. Ah. Mm. Ah. I was told uh -oh. to stop saying stay frosty at the end of my videos. Tell them uh, it's not their channel. So I told them to go want. squat on a knife. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> it's your channel. Say whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. You gotta have balls. Don't be that guy. Like, hey, it's okay. Just like, no, squat on a knife. Fuck you. No, it's not. Then say, oh, no, it's okay. I guess I'll stop playing. And I'm just saying. It's like, it's my channel. I'll do what I want. It is you don't like it. Don't just stop before I say it. It's Holy like, hell. Yeah, what is it? I had someone ask me, why do I upload videos that, that are sometimes not gaming videos? Because my fucking channel. <laughs> I can upload anything I want. <laughs> I literally have a contract stating I can upload anything I want as long as it doesn't go <laughs> against the terms and the conditions. Of YouTube. Like, right. I, it's so dumb. It's so dumb, people. <laughs> what? Oh, what? I, don't, I don't want this. Oh, shit. I don't, I don't want this on my feed going that Alex Luna posted a random video. I don't want that face on my feed. <laughs> yeah, at least I do that. Some YouTubers just upload videos and never do anything like that ever. <sighs> yeah, you're very uh, communicative or... Uh, very social with your viewers. Yes, very social. Wait, what? Man, I'm trying to give you a compliment and you take it there. Yeah. <laughs> Let's take it there. All right, so going on. Shut the fuck up. Me and his friendship right there. I say something. All right, let's go on with this viewer packs. question. It's going to be very. We're going to tell you, show you guys the qualities of these amazing viewer questions. So, Ultra Venom 1, um, he asked, Have you or Momo? Ever played Mountain Blade Roar Band? If so, state your favorite faction in Car Caridia. When you asked this be before, I didn't know what it was. I still don't know what it is. Well, Mountain Blade War Band is a game. That's all I know. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, have you ever played? <laughs> Obviously, it's a game. <laughs> it's, it's a um, medieval kind of game. Do I know much about it? I've seen people play it. I don't know why he's asking it. Maybe he's playing it. I doubt it, but... But this also leads into another question. Do me and Momo play games out, like, in our personal lives? Yeah, but we don't play games over the internet, like most people usually expect to do now. Usually when we play games, we go over to one another's house, because the games we do play, they need that. And it's much better if you play that way than online. And plus, my computer's shit, and his computer's boss, but whatever. No, no, my computer's kind of laggy. I don't, I don't even know what to do with it. I don't know a bunch of a computer, so I wish I could fix this thing. Well, it's not broken. Just something slowing it down. I still think your fucking brother did something to it. So yeah. One of them downloaded something that I didn't know was going to hurt the computer, and something <laughs> happened. Dude, every time. Like, I use a computer. It's nice. It's frosty. It's all good and whatever. Then I stop using it. I go work or go out, come back. Something's wrong with the computer, boy. I'm like, what? <laughs> it was working fine with me earlier. <laughs> Every time. It's like, the internet's kind of bad. It's like, oh my god, what should I do? It's terrible. Uh, it's terrible. My baby. Well, okay. Hopefully that doesn't happen to me when I get my new computer and like, Half a year. So yeah, when it comes to that, playing games with one another, me and Momo, see, Momo doesn't even know that, because he's so busy with just work. This guy has no no free time. He's just work. He's a slave to the system, man. Yeah, I do bloody overnights, and then they drain me, and I only, I only liked having five hours of sleep anyways, but it cuts through my day, and I'm just like... Uh, explain what overnights are, so people don't know. So people don't know? Yeah, people don't know. 
Oh, um, overnights is where it's pretty much the graveyard shift. People say, and I don't know. It's it's brutal. Like I do the work like that usually takes four people to do by myself, and I'm like, come on. And I ask for a raise, and they're like, I want to see more from you. I've been working here for three years. What else is there to see? <laughs> I've oh my god. I do so much. I tra I've trained people and stuff like that. I'm like, can I be a trainer? They're like, I want to see you train, or like, I want you to. I want to hear you more. You never work with me. I do nothing but overnights. I want to raise. And they're like, I want to see more. Oh, what? So I'm just giving up. I'm like, whatever. <laughs> I just I just do my job, and I'm looking for another job. So I'm like, okay, I'm done, guys. <laughs> this is news to me. He's like, I'm giving up. <laughs> That's news to me. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I I, I like this job. Because, um, although I, I do have to be serious and stuff like that, like, I still mess around and stuff like that. I can pretty much, I, uh, the stuff I yell out randomly, I can do it at work. I can do random sh stuff at work, and I just like seeing the people's reactions to it. Uh, and, and that's always great. And in overnights, I can still listen to music, which is awesome, because it just, it's just nice. I like listening to music. It's nice. But yeah, I don't know. I'm, I am gonna look for a different job because <laughs> damn. So what's up? Anyways, so, yeah. yeah. This, so that's what pretty much overnights is what uh, to Momo is, and Momo works in the food industry. People, just to let you know, so you oh, understand yeah. what the what his work kind of thing is. I lose track of days. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what day it is. Sometimes, <laughs> what day? Uh, is oh my god. No, and. And, like, the first two years that I worked there, it was fine. It's, like, the busiest times we had there, I was, like, okay, it's handleable. But this last year, it's, like, damn. It's, like, I don't know what happened. Then America's, like, F uh, fuck it. I know I'm fat. I'm just going to eat whatever I want. Or just stop giving a damn or something. Or did I lose patience somewhere along the Because <laughs> it's just, like, it's just ridiculous amount of food. It's, like, uh, What? There's like three quarters, three blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh my glob. I don't know how to do this. It's like, it's like, I'm alone. No. <laughs> and I'm like, I then started calling uh, people, uh, the customers, Jabba the Hut, because the re orders are that ridiculous. And then, like, it doesn't bother me a lot sometimes, because I'm just like, oh, okay, whatever. I'm just going to make the food, and they're going to wait if I can't make it running time. I can't do anything about that. But it's like, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, it's just. I think America is just like, fuck it, we're fat. We're, oh no, we're losing to Mexico, about fattest people in the world. Better, better step up our game. Okay, I'm done. What the fuck just happened there? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the fuck just happened there. Are you okay, bro? <laughs> Do you need a hug? Uh, I can tell when your brother's to hug you. <laughs> okay, go tell him right now. <laughs> All right, uh, I'll go talk. I'll go talk to the second second one on Twitter. All right, <laughs> I'll go message him. I'm like, hey, what's up? And he'll probably respond to me. If all the girls he responds to, this guy. <laughs> but anyway, all right, all right. So uh, I think that's done for the viewer question. As you see, we could actually use viewer question to be able to staple off onto uh, staple off. What the fuck? To branch off on other things. Yeah. Uh, it's just like that. You didn't expect that, didn't you? Huh? Magic, bitch. Alright, so what we're going to talk about now is this anime that recently came out. It's a summer anime. Uh, it's based off a of manga that started sometime in 2011, I believe. If you want the cor like, absolute correct date, August 4th, 2011. It's a shonen manga in Gan Gan Comics Online, uh, published by Square Enix and written by Nico Tanagawi. Okay, it's a comedy slice of life. It's the greatest thing that I've probably read in a while. Probably the most entertaining thing. I uh, think <laughs> yeah. I've had the most laughs with um, in a long while. Uh, and the name of the anime is the short, in short, like, you know, there's short names for everything. Uh, like, a good example would be something really popular would be I Can't Believe My Little Sister Is This Cute, uh, also known as Oriimo. And, but the manga we're talking, but the manga anime we're talking about, we're going to be talking about right now is Wata Mote. Also known as, also known as the longer version name. No matter how I look at it, it's your guys. It's you. It's you guys' fault. I'm not popular. And you fought. And this, uh, pretty much what this um, manga slash anime 
does. It follows the misadventures of Tomoko, of her trying to become a better person, because in middle school, she was this popular person when she only had probably at least six interactions with human beings within it. And uh, she goes into high school, and she thought everything was going to be good, uh, everything was going to be great, and in turn, nothing's really working out for her, and she hasn't really talked to many people at all, and she's not as popular as she does, and she tries to pretty much improve herself every single chapter, every single episode, different misadventures, and uh, we're going to talk about the anime. We're not probably going to talk about the manga. I may bring it up during this said anime, but I want your opinion on what it is, bro. What do you think of Watamote? I don't know, like, it, it's, uh, I don't know, you may sound kind of depressing, but it's more of a, it's more like, she's all like, okay, I'm going to talk to somebody today, and it's going to be great, and then, um, she tries, and she's super shy as hell, she's like, I, 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 and... Oh yeah, she has heavy social anxiety, which is something a lot of people should have experience with. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, like, it's relatable, because, yeah, there was a point in my life where I was all like, oh man, I gotta gotta talk to people i gotta communicate and stuff like that and yeah and it's it's her trying to get past that point of her life and it's funny how they deliver it in the first episode uh, they did do a death note reference from the uh, from the anime where you know how light and he said this and how light writes all dramatically and jumps around when he's writing on the death note she was doing that with a computer mouse he's like ah oh, looking stuff to look myself more cooler and stuff like that I thought it was great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> definitely, definitely, what I see is that the anime does highlight more stuff and add more references uh, that the manga does. Because the manga is very other anime reference. Like, they reference the Shin uh, Megami Tensei series. The all Almost all the series within this. She's usually playing it when you see her on the computer or she's mm -hmm. playing special fighting games or anything along those lines. It's very uh, heavily... Uh, reference to a lot of stuff that is popular now. There's a couple stuff with uh, some animes that I can't recall because they're not. I'm not a really big fan of, but you could definitely see them and they're out there screaming at you. So it's the manga is very reference based and definitely it's translating into the anime, which in the manga it didn't actually reference that at all. I don't believe. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, um, let's see, but yeah, I, currently, as of right now, there's three episodes out. Another one's gonna be coming out. You guys can find it. It's easy to find. Uh, Watamote, you know, look at it, find it. I definitely recommend this series. Uh, you are going to familiar, you familiarize yourself with Tomoko and these, these struggles that she puts herself through unintentionally and these situations that just go crazy because the best thing about this manga slash anime is this humor this sick okay. oh my god awkward how do i get out of this situation how do i get myself into this humor that's unintentional kind of humor and it's definitely probably one of the better slice of life things that i've watched in a long while and definitely i would recommend this to you wholeheartedly and you would like it. And if you don't, then fuck you. <laughs> Whoa, still, bro. Easy there. <laughs> Do you have any uh, lasting statements on this, bro? Um, I only saw the first episode of the, of the anime, so I haven't seen the other two. I read the whole manga, though, or, as in I caught up to where they are now. And um, I don't know. It is, like I said, relatable uh, at, at points and stuff like that. Like, I know I wasn't... It wasn't that bad, but yeah, there was points like, oh, yeah, I remember that. Or like, oh, yeah, I, I'm glad I surpassed this. And like, oh, I'm better because of this. It goes on that. And, um, I was going to say something. Oh, no, oh, yeah, she's, she's a pervert, <laughs> which I find hilarious. Yeah. Oh, my God, that plays in well. And she has a, a younger brother. And oh my god, you just just read it and watch it, and and it's it's funny as hell. I like it. Yeah, uh, definitely. And also, if you want to know if this says stays true to the manga, now the first episode, I believe it it covers the manga by manga chapters, the one, two, and I believe four. Yeah, uh, it, it covers the first chapter, second chapter, and the fourth chapter. And then I believe the second episode covers the third chapter, 
seventh chapter. Whoa. I think somewhere in the twenties chapter. Um where it pretty much talks about her meeting her this friend that she knew from middle school and um the art thing that happens with her in her imagination before the art thing happening uh, with the guy. <clears throat> so, yeah. So, it's pretty easy to... Uh, they, they, obviously, they are taking their own liberties with it. There was one in episode two. The ending was kind of... Eh, I didn't really understand why they did that because I didn't see her as a person to do that. But she is comfortable with the person who did it. But, you know, it was definitely... It was nice. <laughs> it's nice to see it animated. It's nice to see her reactions. It's funny. It's great. Watch the show, people. And read it. Yeah, I'm gonna watch the show. Yeah, I'm gonna watch the third episode, which I haven't seen yet. <laughs> and we'll probably do, like, little mini-reviews of it near the end of every every single week. We'll do episode three. Why not, right? Mm-hmm. Alright, so uh, moving on from that, we have another thing to talk about, which is something that... I unexpectedly found upon uh, Justice League, the Flashpoint Paradox. I was looking for DC movies to watch because, you know, Marvel movies are kind of bonk. Not going to lie. And now these are animated movie people. Easy there. Animated movies. Which means, guess what? They're animated. Like cartoons. But they're a little bit more adult. Definitely this one was more adult than the majority yeah. of the ones that we've watched before. A lot of adult. They actually show blood. Uh... And they killed kids. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> we don't, oh, Billy. We don't talk about Billy. Or wow, I didn't specify oh, where to ruin it. Oh, <laughs> I ripped my pajama. Oh. You got a hard on from talking about Billy that you ripped through your PJs, bro? Come on. Dude, What's going on? I fucking ripped my pajamas. <laughs> Damn it, I have to rip it off now. All right, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> At the leg, there's like this little string, and I guess I was sitting under it, and uh, it was under my butt, and then I moved my leg, and I hear rip, and the string's long as fuck. I'm like, oh. Uh. All right. Uh, so yes, Justice League: The Flash, uh, Flashpoint Paradox. Uh, I'll just explain what this movie is really quick. Uh, it's it's an animated movie adaptation of a. DC event that happened in 2011 that pretty much brought on what DC is now, the new 52, uh, the new DC with the new um, maybe character origins and new revamped of uh, characters, and pretty much what it centers around, it centers around Flash, uh, Barry Allen version of Flash, which he is a homicide detective, I believe, okay. and um, it... The major standpoint within this movie is about him, obviously, going Speed Force. And him ending up changing something within his past, which ends up changing all of the DC Universe drastically. Um, I guess... Uh, how, how should I explain this? Uh, if I go... If, huh? <laughs> yeah, if I go too much into it, it's going to be... Too much. Like, let's say, all right, yeah, th this is a uh, this is a big one. It doesn't really matter if it's uh, if I say it or not. Um, but in this movie, um, Aquaman and um, Wonder Woman they are fighting against one another. Uh, their armies, the you know the Atlantean army and the Amazonian army, are actually waging war against one another, and it's actually destroying the world as we know it. Um, superheroes are dying. Literally, superheroes are dying. Um, they're getting swords through the chest, shot in the face. They're people are dying in this. You know, obviously it's a alternate universe of some sort, um, but it's interesting. It's a movie based around the Flash. Obviously, they bring in this universe's Batman, which is definitely really interesting. I like what they kind of did with that. I didn't expect that. Uh, we actually seen Flashpoint Batman in um, Justice Injustice before mm -hmm. and you didn't know who he was and i didn't know who yeah. he was either i just i knew he was an alternate version but i didn't know what he was and finding out what he was was definitely interesting and definitely how he was able to take on the persona as a you know bruce wayne has <clears throat> <laughs> because uh this new this, this batman in flashpoint it's not bruce wayne it's batman well it's he don'ts the name Batman, but he's not Bruce Wayne. 
I don't know. It's inter- it's. I thought it was probably one of the better Justice League movies that I've seen. Uh, the animated movies. Um, I definitely really liked it. The the intro of the movie was pretty interesting. There's some points where it, the Flash was running, and they did this weird CGI thing. Oh yeah. <laughs> and he looked kind of gross. Um, but yeah, Flash was definitely on the forefront. Definitely the war was on the forefront. Different characters within it. Uh, like, Superman wasn't really the main staple of it. You know, usually when it comes to uh, animated movie, it's either Batman or Superman coming to save the day to fix everyone's problems. And He tried, but... <laughs> yeah, there was none of that. It was just the Flash. The Flash had to. Um, obviously, they had a doing to go on with the story but the story was about the flash and the choices that he made and what and this one choice and what happens when it when that one choice affects everything also with the speed force the speed force also messed up the timeline even more just because of that um because the flash can travel through time with the speed force <clears throat> if he runs fast enough uh, i wonder if sonic can do that i don't know is that <laughs> <laughs> <Delicious>. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's definitely, I enjoyed the movie. Um, uh, you got anything to say about it? Um, they do show the differences between the, the Batman we know and the Batman from that universe, their major, who and how the villains come to be and why they started doing the war thing, which is pretty much, uh... Selfish. Selfish it's and stupid. It's selfish. It's like, it's like you know how... I don't know. The way I saw it was, you know how in Jersey Sword, like, they overreacted about everything? Uh-huh. Well, this was a major overreaction. It's like, come on. It's like... You can't... It's like... It's it's, a pe- it's petty. It's really petty. And to bring Earth into that, was like, come on. Aquaman and Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman's been with every superhero. Well, <laughs> Easy. That, it's just... They had every main superhero that I see. And then, um, what else? The Superman looks weird. But I'm, I don't want to say anything, but I'm just, I'm just on my opinion. It's like Superman looked weird and funny, and which is bad. And then I like how he Flash had to explain this to people. And it was all like, okay. And then my favorite scene was like, can the bat plane carry us? Bat plane. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> <laughs> I just watched it and it'd be funny. But besides that, it's a good movie. Uh, it was just definitely up there with the Batman uh, Dark Knight Returns, I think. Is the animated one? Yeah. It was really definitely up there. It was definitely more uh, gory. And I don't know. They introduced a lot of new, like, the, it shows the differences between the universe, like, by a lot. Like, Billy. Yeah. And Billy obvi- and his friends. <laughs> and obviously, Flashpoint expanded over, a, uh, like, a lot of characters. Um, now, obviously, they had to choose the ones pertinent to the story to be able to move it along a little bit more than other than little side stories. Like, mm-hmm. with this Batman that they have, I'm sure they could have explained who the Joker was if they wanted to. And obviously... Um, it's different within this universe because the Batman's different. Um, the same things are not going to be happening. You know, Bruce mm-hmm. Wayne is not going to be dropping uh, the Red Hood into that fucking chemical thing. It's not going to happen. <clears throat> Wait, Batman didn't drop him. It was somebody else. It was Doctor Strange? No. Did you say Doctor Strange? No, no, sorry, sorry. No, he's somebody he else. He fell was... into it. No, no. There was a movie about Red Hood, and it was... <sighs> You use that guy that lives forever and wanted Raz Al Ghul. Yeah, Raz Al Ghul did that. Uh, I don't know in the movie Red Hood, Raz Al Ghul. I don't think Raz Al Ghul did that to him. Yeah, yeah. No. Cause okay, okay. Uh, I'll explain after the podcast because <laughs> I don't want to spoil anything <laughs> for anybody. Watch Red Hood. It's an awesome movie as well. Uh, that one's okay. I liked it. They try to do something like uh, the Killing Joke. Which is probably one of the better Batman stuff. But, um, yeah, um, going off on that, uh, obviously they had to condense it within the movie. I believe this movie was somewhere, it was like an hour and a couple minutes and change, I believe. Um, but 
definitely, I would recommend this. It's one of the best. It's uh, it's probably the best uh, DC animated movie from all the ones that I've seen, and I've seen almost all of them. You know, I think I think it's better than um, the Dark Knight Returns, <laughs> the comic in the nineteen uh, from the nineteen eighties that pretty much shits on Superman, which I kind of noticed. <laughs> I noticed that it shits on Superman. It's kind of going over to like Batman fans, which. Goes on again with the whole favorites kind of thing. Oh, also, bro, did you not did you not hear a uh, Batman vs Superman movie? Yeah, that looks awesome. Well, it doesn't look awesome. I mean, look, it's gonna. I want to see it. I want to see who's gonna be Batman and how Batman's gonna be pro- put on there. Because, like I said, the Batman from Dark Knight can't exist. <laughs> he, <laughs> Superman, he can't. He's already dead. I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, the. Definitely, uh, the Batman vs. Superman movie, I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm cautious with everything DC does. Now, you know, hey, they did a good job on the Superman movie. Really good job. Hmm. Ended him off as a murderer. Is Batman gonna be the reason to make Clark, like, strain the fuck up? Because you know Superman's gonna be depressed after that. Yeah. He's like, this Probably is not how we do things! I'm like, well, hold on there. No one ever yelled at me like that. Why are you yelling at me? What the fuck's wrong with you? I don't know. I just don't want it to be one of those movies that, holy shit, Batman punched Superman and he fell on the ground. No. No, I think they get. I think they're gonna do something comical where they're. He's gonna try to, like, I think the first encounter. It's gonna be he's trying to punch him, but he's like, ow, and then Superman's like, let's not do this. And then later on, uh, he's gonna Batman's gonna do his research, know about the kryptonite. Ah. Uh, there's no kryptonite in this universe. There isn't? Nope, none. He doesn't have... Uh, the. They're probably going to use the atmosphere stuff as his kryptonite. Um, yeah, I read it. I read up on it. There is none. Oh, my God. What? He's basically God. He is God. <laughs> Wait till he goes uh, up to that sun and, sun and bathes in it. Oh, it comes down super power, just fucking lifting up buildings, killing people. Oh, Man, uh, then uh, I don't know. I think Superman. I don't know. I think they could probably do a shout out to Batman Beyond when they first met. How, uh, in the cartoon, Superman just did his X-ray vision and saw it was Bruce Wayne under the mask, and then Bruce Wayne put like a tracking device on Batman's cave did you and say found Batman out Batman Beyond. Was. No, no. Oh, shit, I keep doing that. Ba- uh, just Batman series. Okay. And sorry, and then how, uh, and Superman just put a tracking device on him, and then Superman noticed it on the last second when he's just taking his costume off and looks outside the window, and Batman's just chilling there, so on. So I know who you are too. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, "What the fuck is going on?" Yeah. So I didn't honestly expect this to be. This is supposed to be the Superman sequel, I believe. Yeah. I don't think that's a good idea. I think this should be after the Superman sequel, and then, uh, you know, it leads up to a Justice League movie and all that wonderful stuff that they want to do. I don't know. I just wish that Superman got another sequel by himself, then you do team-ups? Why not? Yeah? I don't know. I think it's going to be like how... Um... It's just because they just want to introduce fucking Batman, so they're going to make Justice League movie. They don't want to yeah. take it slow. They want to go quick. Yeah, like... like uh, What is it? Um, who's that girl... From the Avengers, it's Black Widow. Black Widow and the Arrow guy, Purple Arrow guy, or something. Anyways, uh, like that, like the Hawkeye. There we go. And they were like in every movie, just but they they got to tell their story somehow into it in in the movie. So that's how they're gonna do with Batman. They're just gonna be like boom, he's gonna be there. And I, there's like there's gonna be a Flash movie. I don't know if Batman's gonna be there too. No, there's not gonna be a Flash movie. Oh, well, I don't know. I think that's that's what's happening. They're just gonna be a poop. I don't know. Batman. I don't know what they're gonna do. Uh, I don't know. I don't like that Batman's gonna be in the Superman sequel. Uh, maybe a hint at the end would have been great. You know, uh, I don't think DC's gonna do that because they hate Marvel so much. He's like, fuck really? that shit. Yeah, I don't think they're ever gonna do like hint at the ends. Like you know how Marvel was doing with like mm-hmm. with the, it started with the Incredible Hulk, then Iron Man, then I think I think they're being competitive right now then and just going like, oh, we're gonna try to do it better. Or we're gonna try to do this good and stuff like that. They're being what right now? Competitive. 
being like they're competitive. Gonna... No, they're trying to be as fast as fucking possible so they could go against uh, the Avengers two, which it's gonna get smashed by Avengers two, which is gonna be Age of Ultron, by the way. So yeah, and that's interesting. I read up on old Age of Ultron. Age of Ultron. It's actually an event that happened recently. Oh, cool. Yeah, uh, are, they, are they coming with a Guardians of the Galaxy movie? Too? Yes, Guardians of the Galaxy movie. I want to see that. that looks Holy really good. hell! I I just was introduced introduced to Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm really interested in these guys. They're really they're really interesting. I only saw them recently because of the Ultimate Spider Man. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and they were there. I'm like, oh man, they're so cool. I am Groot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a thing going on where pretty much I I don't know I forgot, but someone was explaining that. He's actually talking like a normal person when he says that, but everyone else hears it as, I am Groot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he says, throw him. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't understand. But anyway. All right, brah. I think you should do the uh, outro. You better do it right, or I'm just going to cut it out, and the video is just going to end. <laughs> oh, man. No pressure, right? All right. Uh, please like, subscribe. All right. This is all right, Phil. Until next time, everyone. Good day. Stay frosty. Stop!